All right, guys, we're going to be starting this video a little bit early, doing something a little differently here. So I noticed I had like a video where I did like a strong openers comp, and people seem to like that video. Uh, I don't know if that's something people are looking for, but we're going to kind of go through like an early game, starting at the portal and go through my thought process of how I want to build around it. And I'll show you my decisions, because normally I start at the first element, I've already kind of made up a good idea of what I'm doing, and I don't really have any videos that explain the first couple PvE here's. PvE rounds here. Kabuko. Not a strong opener for me. Not a big fan of playing him. So immediately off the bat, the person I'm looking at is what items I'm getting. You should always try to build your team comp around what items you're starting to see. Ooh. Okay. A little bit of a story we were opening our possibility there, right? Don't really play anything with Aatrox, I find we got like a bruiser thing we can set up here. So if I were to build my strongest team comp, I'd be grabbing you guys. Right off the gate, I got four bruisers. So immediately I'm thinking like trick shot bruisers, right? When I see an opener like this, my brain goes to trick shot bruisers. I don't have any items. Here's what's gonna make the difference. I start playing this team comp and I start seeing like um needlessly large rods and tears drop for me to be port forcing an ad type comp when i'm getting those items is a bad idea now right now i'm seeing one tank item and one ad item so i'm feeling more confident with my idea to maybe force this as far as my strongest openers go you always want to be playing your strongest comp so anything that you're pairing off is going to work really well for you we got two bruisers we got two two stars and this is what i'm playing to work towards my goal if I'm being real, I can already feel like it's going to be one of those games where I'm going to be doing the trick shot reroll. Darius is not part of your opening comp for that, but he's a really good item holder as well, and he's two star. So going to be getting rid of you. Stationary support, fun. That's eight comments away. Buried treasure is only two items. Not a big fan of that. Sharing carrying is a joke. One, two, threes is our best bet. We don't use any of these units. We'll actually get like econ out of it so look at that hopefully we get a couple units we want we don't have room on our bench we're gonna buy you we're gonna actually sell you guys it's kind of a joke hold on to you okay so we get a trick shot we get away from that away from that away from that away from this away from this put out another unit for our strongest pairing it's probably gonna be like you and there no we need to keep you out Probably just play it like this for now. You get a stronger trick shot. Okay. So with this right now, I'm kind of making my mind up on my team comp. I have a strong opener. I have two two stars. I have two bruisers. Ideally, you'd want more synergies than this with an opening comp. I'm not going to be forcing money. Like, I got a strong opening comp. I just I don't have synergies. So like a really good like opening comp would be like Malphite, Qana, Darius, and um, what's his name? Uh, York. Because right there you get two Duelists, you get two Behemoths, you get two Umbral, two Heavenly. You have four Actives there, right? That's a very good opening comp. Anything to do with Story is very good opening. You're getting more units out. Like if you look at this, we'll clear this. If you had this as an opening, so say like you, you start your board and you see this. You're getting two heavenly, two uh, behemoths, two duelists, and two umbral. And if any of these are two starred, you have an amazing opener. You can sell on something like that for the second stage easy. Myself, I don't have a very strong synergy, but I have strong units. So I can probably hold on to this for a little bit as well. And I'm going to start building towards my comp I want. So we're going to clear that. If I start at the bottom, we'd be wanting Zaya. We'd be wanting Udyr, obviously, for our better behemoth. Uh, then we'd want our Kaisa. Galio is a really good um, bruiser. You want your Silas for a bruiser. Working our way backwards, we're going to want Timo. Uh, Riven for a bruiser. Aatrox for our bruiser. And then back over here to Sivir. And that'd be our team comp. Like I said, I know, I know I'm still playing a strong front line, so I can kind of hold off for a little bit. I don't need to push anything here. We have units we can swap out after. Once we kind of get some more pairings here. I don't plan on obviously playing Kabuko, but he's the strongest unit I have. He's very tanky. Darius is the damage to follow up on it. 
And our one back line, which is just itemless, because I don't actually plan on playing him. Although I could put something on him to spike our board right now. So if you want to make yourself even stronger, don't feel scared to slam out items on units that you're not planning on keeping. If they can hold an item and still use it to do damage or defense, that's just going to keep you like with more HP longer, right? Could make the difference between whether or not you win or lose a match as well. Like I could have put a Bloodthirst on Darius and actually mowed through this team, but I'm not planning on I'm not planning on using a Bloodthirster, so. And this player here, like he has synergies, right? And he has a lot stronger of a comp. So you know, he's got three Behemoth, two Heavenly, but he's got five units out. I didn't feel like my team comp was strong enough to try to push a win spree. I just want to keep my econ. Early game, I'm just worried about money, right? If you can get hit, if you can get to 50 gold by Krugs. You're in a very healthy spot. Demo with a tier. I want the tier for redemption. Like, I'm thinking ahead. I'm seeing redemption. Weirdly, like, we can cut Umbral into this comp as well. If we need to, Spatula. I'd probably do something like another Heavenly or something, or a single Heavenly. I don't know, Spatula doesn't really help us out that much. In our current idea of a team comp. Dun, 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 dun. And what's our... We want to be looking at this as well. Vitality. Not the best one for us, but we can make that work with our team comp. We'll just have to give uh, Tysa actual... Uh, you know what we need to sell here? We need to sell... Oh my gosh. All right, there's a strong comp right there. Heavenly, like, what do you do, right? What do you do? What do you do? No, 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 no. I don't really want to win this. Yeah, it's good. We lose. I don't want to yo-yo. If I'm at, playing a weak comp, which I'm aware I'm playing, my items aren't that great right now. I don't want to be playing to like try to force a win spree. So I want to start like because I start off with a little bit of win spree, I got shut down. My comp I know is garbage right now. Currently, it will pop off. I want to start working towards a loss spree, right? So now I'm oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Spirit, reveal our way. Sometimes the game throws a curveball, and I have to rethink your plan. If you see an early ash paired with the lux, definitely grab it. That would have been great if it was a Kaisa, I would have felt a lot more solid in my build. But now I'm looking for a possible out. And I also want to see if anyone's building something along what I'm building. Probably not. You're definitely on porcelain. Faded. Nemeth. No, no one's really playing my comp right now, which is good, but. So here's the thing. I was dropped two porcelains with my current comp with the trick shot idea. I would have really nothing I could play a spatula into. Now I'm seeing this as an opportunity to build a porcelain. Even though there's not a person playing porcelain, if I keep seeing these units, I have to rethink my plan. The worst thing you can do is hard force a comp when your deck's showing you something else. I believe in that very strongly. A lot of challenger players I watch, like they will start with a team comp, they'll have something to mind, and you'll see them just plugging and playing units to find out what works best. And then their cards are just slowly like pushing them into something they didn't weren't even really building for in the beginning. They follow their deck, right? I like, guess you can hard force comps. Well you hit something sometimes you hit it and you're like, cool, I, I hit it. Killed everyone else. And sometimes you're contested or someone else rolls up your decks, so they're also getting those units. And that's when you get tilted, right? Like, how many people have had a game where you start off on something and someone rolls onto you and you end up losing and you just absolutely lose your mind? Well, that's because they pivoted when their cards were showing them to pivot, right? Oh, jeez. I'm actually starting to feel like this is a swap around. We're going to wait to 3-2. We're still on our loss spree, so I, I don't really care about this right now. About losing another one. We don't need Raka. We still need you guys. 
And right now, if I'm looking for, if I get like a Nautilus, an Annie, and a Moo Moo, like I have, a, I have an opportunity to move here. But I'd be going into a fast Acom. My Econ's good. I just finished Krogs. I have 52 gold. Right where we want to be for a nice start to a fast eight. Still looking at my items. My items are shaping me towards more of an AP type comp now. Got a little bit of tanks items, but I'm also getting a little AP items. So is that going to work out really well? Trick shot. I could make it work, but right now, like I'm not feeling the vibe. That's what the three star show guys. Oof, crazy. Mythic's really making a comeback. They really are. Rogue Grab Big, Jeweled Lotus. We don't need a Bruiser Crest. Yeah, my sword is not that great for us. Jeweled Lotus, not feeling that. Gifts from the Fallen's okay. Rogue Grab Big could be good. If I re roll it, I might get stuck with crappier options, right? Let's just take that with the four gold. There's our Mumu. This is enough to let me know that I need to get the hell out of dodge. We got Mythic and Volkrat's also part of this team comp. Sell. We're going to put a Mumu for you. Sell. Uh, our Mumu is going to be rocking nothing. Uh, we're going to sell you. We're going to put you out. We're going to put you guys out and we're going to move you in here and move you down. There. Okay. So we made the side, we decided to get out of dodge, right? So we'll roll back to the drawing board. You're gonna want Nazir for an invoker. You're gonna want Lissandra for your porcelain. Moving on up, we're gonna want Ash, Annie for the double invoker, Lilia for the third invoker. Uh, you want Nautilus because he's a warden pairing. You want your Mumu to pair with the warden slash porcelain. You're gonna want the Lux right here. And then you want Kogma, which is the last invoker, which we don't really have to play. If we played that, we'd get three mythics. So now we need to like really push this comp. And we need to level up. Okay, that was a full pivot. We're not gonna be playing you, but we'll put you over right now for some frontline strength. We're gonna roll down here and try to get some units we need. Play you actually, because you're a little bit stronger. Uh, uh, there's our cog mob, put you over you. Right, we got our double snipers that way. Keep rolling, try to pick up our units. Grab another Kogma, grab another Lilia. Jeez, man. Uh, give that to you. I don't really want my snipers to be together. I think I should be spreading them out. Lilia is probably going to be our backline carrier if I get another one of her. And then we need this with um, Porcelain. So I need a bow on that. Dun, 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 dun. I think the plan is you get a bow and you go porcelain Annie. I think that's what people have been doing. At least that's what I've been seeing in games. I don't know if that's exactly the meta. I just know it's comp. I've seen it like so many games as. After like playing so many games, you just can kind of just see like what people play. And you're like, oh, that's clearly a meta. Like you just you, you memorize these comps just from watching other people play it. So there's our Lissandra, but super late to the party. I want the bow. So there's our porcelain. We're trying to hit an Annie. So if we're doing a fast eight, we're currently level six, means we want to be level seven on either three five or four one. I can't afford it on three five because I rolled down to try to pick up some units, which is fine. So we're gonna go for four one. It means I need to start saving some money. build you up like we want you to be our Annie. So here we go. Ah, uh, you can have that. We're going to aim for a, a belt with this. And we're going to give you an item just to put that out. Separate our two carries here. Or not really carries, but you know what I mean. Yeah, alright. That's that. We chill. We just put a couple of points into our level. I don't think my AP really needs to go in the front, so I can probably put that on Lux. Actually, you know what? I want that Rage Blade. Can't build that. Yeah, Rage Blade Ash is the play. Just 
we're looking for Nautilus and Annie. We can hold we can hold this Orn for a while. We definitely need Nautilus so we can start getting these uh, three mythics going. I guess. So see how I, like I, I kind of flipped there and I went back and forth until I found what my my board was trying to give me. Now yes, this comp was slightly contested, but I'm following the direction of my cards, right? Sometimes if you just force a deck, like you just you just crash, man. Brutal. Let me reroll six until used. I'll probably use one more. Okay, we get no strength here. We're gonna use three more when we hit level six. Or level seven, sorry. Um. Oh, really wish I had another item so I could figure out what do I want to do. Ah, it's okay. Level seven, we get more chances to find. We get like we go up to ten percent chance to find our four costs. That's why these they call us a fast eight comp. Is your best chance to find your fi uh, four costs are at level eight to start picking up your board. So it'll be four one and then probably four five. You gotta be really aggressive. So like you can either go four one. So you can like there's like two if you have a really aggressive like a lot of mod econ, you go uh level seven on three five, and then you go level eight on four two. Or you go four one and then four five. Those are the two best pairings for like your level seven and eight. They're very close together. And you want to keep around 30 gold when you do that. I don't mind trading HP right now because I know my end game plan. As long as I stay above like 40 and I hit these units, we're, we're golden. Oh my gosh. Oh, I really wish you were two star, Dash. Really wish you were two star. Oh my gosh, that's just so good. Okay, that sucks, but okay. I kind of think I should have took the gargoyles, but that's just way too much tank. Like, no. Stick to our plan. There's our two-star Moo Moo. That's huge. Miko doesn't fall into our team comp. Okay, so we're going to level up. Now we're going to try to find a unit quick. Uh, there's our warden. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, we got a Morellos, which is huge for you. We got this for you. Deathblade on Ash. Nothing wrong with that. We take our three rerolls for free here that we passed up on, so we just had two. A couple more points on our level. One for you, one for me, kind of thing. Awesome. That was a good pickup, guys. You did really well there. Very well. Now we just need to get rid of this, uh, this random behemoth and get Nanny out. I'm surprised I haven't seen Annie already. You know, usually she comes out pretty quick. Grab our uh, Lux. So the thing I've been seeing, like, and I, I don't know if this is actually proven, but if you put, like, so you'll see sometimes people put Lily in the corner. I'll show you in a second. Reinforce, but that's our free Annie if we get her. Not, not in a million worlds would I not take that. So sometimes they'll put like Lily here, right? And what ends up happening is she throws her ball through. So say like the tanks are kind of spread out, goes right through there, passes through everybody, just goes out the other side. I think most people are playing her in the cent central area, so she hits whatever targets right in front of her, and then her balls branch out like this on her third cast, right? When you put her in the corner, sometimes they'll branch out and they'll go like off where people aren't really, they're not there. So uh, we don't really have anyone else we can pair up other than you that we care this about. Okay, we're still waiting for four or five. We need to get this Annie, man. This Annie would just set the party up. Like, whoa. And Lissandra and Azir. We got a big team. We got to hit nine. Oh, that's going to be that's gonna be rough. Dried players are in every single game, man. No mercy. I don't know much you can do there. 
Dried comps are stupid right now, man. Like, they, they, it's funny because, like, TFT Academy was saying that they're downtrending. Like, when the tier I'm in right now, people, <laughs> so many people playing this. It's still really strong. And now that people are starting to cut them into uh, Faded as well. Sheesh. So we need to hit just a couple units. Normally I not take reinforcement, but my eyes lit up with thinking of a, a free two-star Annie. He gains ability power, team gains 150 health, team gains damage. We're gonna go health. Nope, not grabbing you, although it would be kind of cool. Yuck. Oh, I gotta survive this. We need a belt. That's what we're looking for on the carousel. Redemption Annie. Redemption Annie. Ooh. We got some good team comps here. This guy's trying to spam his Annie out right now. They're level 8, so they, and they got the uh, late game specialist, so. We need to find an Annie ASAP. We need to level up after this and roll down for Nanny. We'll go down to 30 gold if we need to. We just need to hit that unit. Yikes. We can turn this around. Looks sketchy now, but we'll get there. Um, there's our belt. So the Annie build is complete. All right. So I don't even know what this build's called, really. Invoker Ash Flex, I guess is what they're calling it. I showed you how we pivoted from one direction where you think you can go and trick shot, use our items and our direction of the cards, went a different way. I almost bought you. That was sketchy. So we're gonna roll up here for you, and then we're gonna roll down for ah, uh, there's No! 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 Oh, that hurts me right in the feels. We are made by our choice. No, no, no. No. Oh, man. I thought because I thought I had. Uh, I mean, that's not terrible, but that's not what we wanted at all. I did not want to have to try to build an Annie 2 from scratch. Brutal. That might have just cost me the game, honestly. Any two star would have been the cat's meow. The bad part about reinforcement, sometimes you see a pair on your bench, you're like, oh my gosh. Totally not thinking. I need Nanny so bad. Sandra, my gosh. Give me right now. Um shh. So it's obviously you. Obviously you. I want to see everything. I don't really like locking a shot, but we're gonna lock that. That's terrible, dude. I mean, it could have been worse. I could have picked up somebody else. To, uh, and, like, I actually bought that can for saying that I would have been like really losing my mind. But that definitely hurts. That hits right in the feels. Right in the oof. Okay, so there we go. That's what we're aiming for all game. Hopefully a two-star, but I think people are buying up the Andes like hot cakes right now. 
Uh, da, 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 no any. No any. Yeah, I got a good answer. Single any. That should be alright. Someone have to try to save to get to level 9. You know what we do here? We ditch the Arcanist for now, we ditch Lux. And we bring out you for the four invokers. Right? That'd be the play. Uh-huh. We're actually gonna do it like this. Not ideal build, but just a little bit more help in the front line. We should be saving money. There's an actual possibility I could get to a higher level, but... Yeah, that's rough. That Annie oof makes me want to cry. Still good, though. We got Ash. Or, yeah, we got Ash. I can't really complain. We got a really strong backline carry out of it. It's just that Annie was our tank, man. That was our go-to. The GOAT. I try to crawl and we stop for at this comp. I gotta stop rolling too. We're never gonna hit this level though. I have to make it to Elder. That's nuts, guys. That's nuts. Uh, who we fight? Probably you. Could be you. Could be you. You got the Annie too. Nice. Okay. Porcelain competition. I welcome a friendly game. Yikes. Ah, oh, it's just so one of you. Let's get the 10 interest. Try to make a comeback, guys. We'll try. I don't know what song got stuck in my head, but it is crazy right now. Hey, you're scary. You're kind of scary. My position I'm worried about is if we end up fighting you. <laughs> All right. I mean, Nas is pretty beefy up there too. There we go. Oh man, sorry guys. Guys, I was why well, are you talking? I was just spaced out. If you believe. One adaptive helm. Adaptive helm with Sandra, very good. Stack shift would have been my second pick if I couldn't get it, but on um, obviously her. We want this adaptive helm on our Lissandra, so she's casting more. Excellent. Shouldn't be rolling. 30 gold here. Okay, so we're fighting you. You're scary. You're scary. You're terrifying. My position's not ideal for this any of these comps right now. In case I end up fighting you, I want to be here. Nope. That's right, you're gonna get your alt off from over in this corner. And everybody's happy. His alt with the frickin' Morellos, that's that's awesome.
Ouch. Leave me alone. Do we win here? Do we get top four? Come on. Are you guys fighting each other? Hello? Oh, damn. What fit ending is this? Oh, that's cool. I don't think I've seen that one. We're so far off our next level, too. I feel like we just tried to hit Annie. Just roll for it. How many Annie's do you have? Oh, you're sitting on a lot of Annie's, man. Um, scary. That's oh, so scary. This is so weird having Nautilus with these items. Dang. I him out. Yeah, yeah, he said that he had the units. Oh, our tank's trying to make a stand here. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, buddy. Nautilus with his rage blade just coming in swinging. Put him on the board. Let's see what the damage was there. Obviously, Ash just stomped it. And he took a crap ton of damage. This guy three stars, any it? Uh. Ryan, you hold any Annie's? You got one. So that's what? Three, four, five, six, seven. There's two open on the board right now. I can try to roll for him. I don't think I'm getting 64 gold here. Or maybe. Okay, we do get it. Um, make sure we hit the right hockey here. For Ash out. Feeling okay about you two here. You're like, you're a mega tank. We're just going to put you right up in the front. Because you're going to want to take more damage than Annie. That's like the perfect build to be fighting somebody with right now. A random thresh build. Come on, Nautilus. Yeah, second knockup. We got two knockups there or just one? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Feels good. And I'm feeling good. Hey -o. Yeah, we're fighting you. You're sketchy. Good items. We're gonna actually kind of like do it a little different here. It's the way you're positioning. We're actually gonna want like you here ish, you there. You're chilling. Put you in this corner, put you over here with you, and you there. Well, this guy pretty much lined up a complete lob for these two units. If we can survive this, I think we're, we're pretty good. Yeah, but you clustered all your units in one corner, man. This is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, bud. <laughs> Appreciate you. Uh, there's an Annie. Oh, try to keep up, you say. Oh, these aren't good items for him. Okay, we gotta make sure we're scouting properly here. So he's gonna try to dunk on my carries, right? So what we're gonna do is rush in like put you here. Move you to this corner, you over here, you're gonna go there, you can go here. You can get my units over moved over in time. That's right, most of our clusters over here, and this set's gonna probably dunk into this corner. 
Yeah, because the way our position is here, he's gonna dunk over here. We're good. Oh no! Oh no! We tried, guys. We tried. That was a fun game, though. Honestly, all in all, third place. We should probably got second there. I would have won that match. Anyways, guys, like, subscribe, more comment like this. I tried to break it down um, best I could. Uh, if you enjoyed this, hit the old thumbs up. See you in the next one. Peace.